Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Take a look at these two photos right here. Education Commissioner, community members express concern about integrity of Concord Schools investigation. State Education Commissioner Frank Edelblut expressed concern and disappointment Monday that Concord High School Principal Tom Sicka continued to work despite the community being told he was on leave of absence during an investigation into handling of student sexual misconduct complaint. Other members of the community have echoed similar concerns about the integrity of the investigation following the news that Sika, who was absent from graduation on June 15th and went on a voluntary leave of absence on June 24th, continued working on school business for three months remotely while the investigator met with students and staff members. The Monitor learned that Sika continued to work throughout the summer in off-site locations after obtaining 331 pages of emails from his district account through a Right to Know request. He only stopped working when he was placed on paid administrative leave by the school board on September 23rd, the day they received the investigation completed by independent attorney Dejuna Perkins. Sika's absence from the public eye followed a story published by The Monitor about Sika's suspension of student Anna Goldbly after she was told friends at Runlet she felt former Concord teacher Howie Leung's behavior with female students made her uncomfortable. That student who was in seventh grade at the time in 2014 was called into Sika's office the day before Christmas break, accused of spreading malicious and gossip and was suspended for three days. Leung was arrested in April. He is accused of reportedly sexually assaulting a runlet student starting in the 2014-2015 school year around the time that seventh grade girl was suspended and silenced. Concord at Large City Council and Director of Public Affairs for New Hampshire Coalition Against Domestic and Sexual Violence, Amanda Gray Sexton, said that under no circumstances should a school employee who is being investigated and who has been placed on leave continue to work during that time. Emails obtained by the Monitor revealed that in a letter to district leaders dated June 29th, Assistant Principal Steven, Steve Rothenberg urged school leaders, including other assistant principals, to reach out to Sika without reservation while he was on leave. What does a LOA leave of absence look like for Tom? Rothenberg wrote the details of it have not been announced publicly by the SEU, but I want to let you know that he is still working. 
Rosenberg told the Monitor on Friday that he sent his email to staff to let them know what was going on and ultimately to help guide them to do their jobs effectively. He did not answer if he thought the public was misled. Meanwhile, community concerns continue to grow. Max, a candidate for school board in District B, wrote on his Facebook page that it was dangerous by the Concord School District administration to say that Sika was on leave. A Concord parent whose son was a student of Leong said he had been attending the policy committee meetings and the school board meetings throughout the last few months and had no idea that Sika continued to be involved in day-to-day -day operations of the high school over the summer and into September. And that does it for my evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your evening. I'll see you back here tomorrow with more news reports. Good night and bye everyone.